is Friday and the weekend started and I'm ready to have a nice time. I don't know about you, but I know I am. And I finally, I don't want to give it away too early. I finally were able, I was finally able to score. Sorry, I'm a little um, elevated on life right now. And I'm currently drinking a beer. So, but I'm above the age 21. Well, well above that age. Well above that age. Um, so I'm also drinking a beer. So, but today I went to Walmart. I digress. I went to Walmart. And I finally was able to score a couple of the newer Headmaster releases. It took a long dang time. I may need to add on that. And between, you know, because I want to review what I want to review. I don't want, I'm not going to review some goofy Transformer I have no interest in. So. And I also have some big stuff coming too. Um, my Megatron parts are finally coming back to me. Which means we are almost at the pinnacle of the completion of my G1 Megatron. And I'm very happy about that. But today we're here to talk about reviewing <clears throat> one of the Headmasters. Now here's one of the ones I got. Which will not be opened. Just just that a little bit. Urgh. I got Weird Wolf, and as you can see, the box is in pretty decent shape, considering it might have been, how many times it's probably been handled. And all in all, it's nice. I'll give you like the outside nickel tour, but we're not opening it this one up. Um, Weird Wolf here. Uh, the character design on the front looks pretty good, in my opinion. And it's got that classic... Uh, design here, uh, you know, on prior headmasters, and of course it's got the G1 influence package, which I I would love for them to continue to run all their transformers that way. Uh, call me old, and I am old, but uh, I think there's just something classy about them. So hope they continue that. I mean, with newer releases too. I'm not like. Just talking whenever, but um, of course, there's the back of the box, the artwork on that with the little uh, stack card. And these also, well, I'll, exp I'll talk about that in the review. So, so I just want to give everybody a quick look. So, I got this one, and okay, and this was in nice shape, so this one's not getting open. If I review this guy, if I, it's if I find him again. In decent, in good, at least, you know, brand new shape. <clears throat> they only had one of these guys. And it bummed me out because, I mean, right off the end, I did open the side right there. See how it's open? I did open it. Um, but I didn't do any of that damage. Look at that. Crack right there. Crack right there. That right there. That right there. That right there. This is okay. Let me get in the back. If you want to see Skull Smasher stats, it's right there. Okay. Right there. Um, but yeah, this is a less than perfect box. So, like, you know what? This is what I'm going to do a toy review on because I'm, I, I, I don't know, I, maybe I'm a snob. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm a snob. Uh, but I don't like to open my stuff. And if I do, it's fine. But, like, with the one of the pieces ever in the fire. But anyways, but uh, I was going to, but I'm glad. In a way it worked out because I can review him. And knowing, and I will know, I'll get him again. I'm not too worried about that at some point. So we're going to open him up. This is the guy we're going to review, by the way. Skull Smasher. Or Skull Cruncher. Skull Cruncher. Um, very, first impression was, it's very tight. Like, it's like really tight on the inside. 
Look at that. Look at that pull thing right there. You really gotta work in this guy way out of its box. But uh, come on. It's, they're killing me. There we go. Look at that. So, there we go. Let's, I always like to do that and stuff like that. But I will say, though, I mean, again, this is a sharp-looking box. I think there's a lot of potential with this. Um, I think they could really sucker in a lot of G1 fans, like people like myself, with this. Just the box alone. Anyways, um, I will get another one in a much better shape, and that will be added to my collection as far as sealed ones. I just, <clears throat> I will keep this one, though. Because, in particular, I like... <coughs> Sorry, hold on. <coughs> Dealing with the cold. <sighs> COVID-free, I swear. So, I have to say, right off the bat, I really like the direction. Um, with... The re the reissues in the G1 packaging has been a lot. It has been really nice, and these technically aren't reissues, because you know they're not. They're um. So anyway, here's the instruction manual, and I noticed they even even in the instruction manuals are starting to go more more G1 fashion, especially with these lines that are right here. See, it almost even kind of looks like you if you wanted to, you could fold it up into what the original G1. I mean, it would be. Just my two cents on that. But, uh, oh, sorry. Sorry again. It's pretty standard stuff here. I love the feel of the paper on this. I don't know. That may be a little goofy, but I do. Um, here is Skull Cruncher. And, of course, he is a headmaster. Which was a line that was ran in the later 80s. And it was uh, pretty successful, I would say. But I think at that point in time, I was kind of checked out of Transformers. You know, um, adolescence into puberty type thing. But now that I'm like old and, you know, I can enjoy this stuff again. Anyway, here is Skull Crusher. I took him out. Can I, okay, I'm going to point this out right now. I like how they do the ceiling. If you're never going to open it, it's great. There's really, really bad in there. You can, you'd be able to tell right away if someone pulled this out of the pack and tried to sell it like as new and never open. You just buy that alone. But still. I will say it's a sometimes it's a bit ag aggravating. Just being honest, it's a bit aggravating. So, but uh, I I do like it in some manners, and I think the worst part for me is the gun. See this right here? Yeah, getting sometimes getting these guns out which is a real chore. And it's just like, really gotta work it out of there. So there. We go. Skull Cruncher's gun. Um, this is what it looks like in alligator mode. Let's see, right here. Uh, and see. Oh, I lift them up for you there. See, pretty impressive. Check it out. See, that? the mouth goes up and down like. Right there, it's pretty neat. Hey there, I'm Brutal Hope. Why don't you come over here and hang out with me? Like that. Um, a lot of pivot on the head right there. Head of the alligator right there. See that? You can twist it around like crazy. I like that. That's it. It's pretty cool. Um, it feels sturdy. I appreciate that. Even if it's gonna be plastic, I like my. Figure to feel like it has some like meat and potato to it. Like if it fell, it's not gonna fall apart, type kind of thing. So, 
But well, here we go. Here's what he looks like. We'll do like a. Mm -hmm. Over his mouth a little bit. I know this is draws. Here we go. A lot of nice details, I think, in this. Yeah, this is just. I want to say alt, yeah, alt mode here. If you want to call an animal a mode, um, I think that's kind of well. well I, grew up, I kind of went into puberty and got interested in other things like um, attraction of the opposite sex. That was kind of nice. So, but uh, anyways, I, at this point, I really didn't collect these or had even had these as a kid to play with, um, but. That, so I kind of, kind of glossed over and overlooked it a little bit, but still, it's technically it falls under G1, and I don't know, I'm starting to see, to see the light now, for whatever it is. Okay, so here he is in alligator mode. Oh, jeez, I wish I would have brought my little... Dang it. This was, a, I won't lie, this was a bit of a, a pain. See, this, this is his cockpit little thing where you put the head. Hey. Oh. Okay. That was my first complaint right there. But it's one of the very, very few. But hold on. I have to get something to get in there. I apologize. I shall return after these messages. I'll be right back. And this is my one issue with this thing, is that that should have, to me, should have been like a hard kind of plastic, a clear plastic where you could just pop it off and on, and it would have still looked just as good. But I had to do this the first time. There we go. This is where you put the little headmaster right I see he's right in there. They even gave him like a little cockpit and stuff, and that's kind of cool, but... Just saying what it is, that's a real pain in the rear end. So, here is Monkso, I think you pronounce it. I don't know. But here's this little headmaster guy. There's really not much to him at all. But it's a nice little addition, I guess, because he is his head, which is this. That way. But in robot mode, he's really kind of like. And I'll transform it too. Here we go. Just for the sake of doing it. Let's, uh, let's see if we can keep up here and follow this. Down one arm, down the other arm. And then you flip his head that way. And there's his head. Really not too much. You know. Here's the tail. The tail comes off like this. Of course, he's got a little gun here, but you're not going to do anything with that now. And from this point on, he's really not that hard to transform. Even if you don't look like, even if you don't look at the manual, which I don't like looking at the manual. Anyone who knows me knows that. But here we go. So see right there, easily legs pop out just like that. Pull that out. For his foot, his foot. So, as you can see right there, even when you flip his legs over, you can see how this is going to work out. Uh, this obviously flips back like this. And like, okay, another one thing I want to point out. See how his head swivels? You can do something cool like this. And I'll show you with his head on. Hey, come on, you bit. There you go, see? You know, that open, right? So, got that right there. And then you just pull the arms to the left, the left, right and the left, swivel them that way, pull this back, and 
flip the arms out like this. And I have to say, like, just looking at it at this point, it's really nicely made. The, the body, of course, turns all the way. Uh, knees. I always do this. I always give it the pull, push and pull test. And I did it before, and I'll do it now. See how it, they, they really, they can, very, they're very poseable. You can do some, probably some pretty cool poses with this guy. Or if you're a kid, you can actually do something crazy and like have fun with it, and play with it, right? I'm sure there's a chance some uh, kid who might make his way here. Who knows? So, right there, you got his body. <clears throat> his head flips around. Very easy to transform. Even the people who watch my videos know sometimes I have issues transforming these things. Mainly the modern ones, but... Whatever. So we're gonna put that there for now. We're gonna put his back there. He still needs his head though, right? So we're gonna let's see. We we'll get this. Let's see. Right. The table may be off on the fridge, but um, I think I stood him up on my kitchen table. All right, we'll work with that. That works for now, right? I'm gonna slide them all backwards all like that. So, see, right there. Obviously, he's pink, gray, and green, and white. I guess for an alligator that works, so won't argue it. And of course, here is his head. Right there. And that's where you just, you'll see right there. It's not where it is. you think his head should be. Just pop for it on. And, and that's what, and I guess whatever. We'll put this on. We'll put the weapon on. Here, here's him without his weapons. Head swivels, of course. All the way. It, it, good. Uh, the arms, they're pretty good. Uh, I've I have some figures that are, are a bit better, but you know, whatever, you know, they're not bad. As you see, he's got his little hands there. And one of the things you're going to use as as part of his arsenal is, it's almost like a claw shield alligator type gun, and this flips up. I'm not sure what the purpose of this is. But you can do this. And I did forget when he was in alligator mode, to put his the tip of his tail on, which I'll do. He does have a tip. And that looks, I, I don't know, looks pretty solid, right? And here's his gun right here. So put that in, right there. And he, he's ready to go, man. He's ready to kick some um, rear end. I'm here to kick butt and Chew bubblegum, and I'm all out of bubblegum. Yes, I did steal that from Rod Riding Piper, and they live. And if you understand that reference, then you're about as old as I am. So, here's what he looks like um, in robot mode, and I have to say, it, it's pretty solid looking. You can pose him in a lot of different ways. He can even like, go as far as like do stuff like this. Like, put him in these like military stance poses like, Raw Wolverine! If this was a war movie, but it's not. Anyways, but I mean like, you do cool stuff like that with it. So, if you had like, if you're into that sort of thing, with loose figures, cool man. You could do, you could work with this cat. I have to say, you know what's nice about these guys? They're really well made. Um, it seems like they could take a bit of a beating. Um, the, the the paint job on the chest is... Uh, let's take a look. Let's be fair, the paint job is kind of simplistic, but it works. White and green. Um, I, I would, I, the pinkish purple... 
I'm okay with it. Uh, I don't ever, 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 and I mean ever, remember seeing a pinkish, purplish alligator anywhere, but there's Transformers. I do like some nice little touches right there. You see, you have this right here, the Decepticon symbol. This is what you see on most modern Transformers. Spray painted on. This is nice because it's actually stickered on right there. And I, I don't know if anyone's going to ever point this out again. But if not, whatever. I will point it out. It's a nice touch. It, it really... It feels like a cyber enhanced G1 figure. I, I don't ever remember having this as, like I said, I never had this as a kid. Oh, the legs move out too. Here, dig to move a little bit. Um, but I, I can say with some fair confidence that I'm willing to bet you that that skull cruncher wasn't as nice as this one. I, 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 in fact, I remember looking up some of the headmasters in Pretenders. Don't ask Pretenders. Yes, they, they technically count, I guess. But anyways, that's, I digress here. Oh, and this is nice, too. I noticed this, too. See, right there? Look at that. They almost put, like, it looks like inner circuitry in the legs in there. They figure out some nice touches, man. It's well worth $20. You know, they overcharge on a lot of their figures, but you can get some, this is a nice cat to have. And if you can get them without going through third party, you can get them for like 20 bucks. And it's well worth the money. It's a cool figure. Anyways. So I'm going to take this off here. I didn't put him back in alligator mode, so I'm to show you him with the tip of the tail. Which I, I forgot before. So... Get out of there. Take the head out. Uh, and then you just pop the arms back this way. Fairly simple. And as you can see how it bends and twists there. You can do this. And he's just about ready for alligator mode again. His head, his alligator head actually snap, snaps back on. He's got to play around with it. Right, see how right is right there. I play around with it, man. Maybe eventually you'll get it. Let's try get it now. Come here. That's right. Get on there, big guy. Get on there. Oh, where? What? What? What just happened here? Okay, that's <laughs> that's not cool. That's a fun thing about doing these things live. His little blue plastic part is missing somewhere, What? but I'm not gonna worry about that now. I'll eventually find it. If I don't, who cares? I intend it and I keep, oh, there it is. Oh, look at that, ta-da! Oh, the magic of using your noggin. Anyways, here it is. This, like I said, this is a nice little touch for, for the I'll see if I can see it in there. It's kind of, that's what, let's see, you can kind of see it's like make that, they make it out as a seat right there. Type thing. And I would have just liked it to have been like hard plastic, but like a little, little somewhere niche in there to pull that, flip it right back up. And you just flip the legs back over, real non rocket science and stuff, put the, le put the feet in. There you go. See right there. So, what I didn't, I would have liked this too. I like this probably even better. That's right here. His back legs, see right there. I would like it if those would have stretched out. I don't know why they didn't go that route on this, but um, it's a very minor complaint. It's a solid figure. It really is. It really is. Um, let's see, and I'll show you him in full glory with because he has a tail. That's where you take his gun, right? And you and you do it like this, pop it in here, and you have his tail, and it, it just looks right. See, like that. So and he's ready to go swamping around the bodies and just whatever.
Looks nice in alligator mode and alt mode. Okay, and I'm gonna put them back in package now. Actually, I don't know. I might just keep them out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep them out. I gotta find some. I have, okay, so right now, they finally, after months, let me start on that. Working on my room, because uh, as I mentioned in a prior video, um, our apartment caught on fire. That kind of sucked. That down there. So they well, they finally started getting, getting around to working on it. And they worked on it for like, I don't know, two days, and then they stopped. And we're like, that? Sorry. Sorry about that. And we're like, uh, forget about it. No, I guess. Uh, I'm out of Rolling Rock, aren't I? So, <clears throat> Skull Cruncher, to keep to the review, definitely worth 20 bucks. If I had to rate this figure, I'd at least give it like a, an 8 out of 10. I think it's fair, because there's some areas they could have done a little better on. But all in all, a pretty solid figure. I'm hoping I can find another Weird Wolf so I can review, review that. But uh, just a heads up, going in the near future, maybe this Sunday, see. Um, I will be restoring some G1 stuff. I look forward to that. Um, and one of them will be a stinky Autobot. Yes. Um, in the reselling and buying and reselling business, you know, you can't be too, you can't be that selective. And I found a sealed in package. Oh, jeez. I forget his name. Um, the, the mini bot plane, the little red plane. And... It's sealed and packaged, kind of, sort of, in a technical kind of way, but the box, the, the, the backing is warped to holy heck in the hand basket. Which means I have to bust out the iron, the vacuum, and I need my tool kit. But I'm going to do a restoration video next, I think. And a big update on my G1 Megatron that I've been working on what seems like forever now. This is a big step. You shall see. For the one or two people that may decide to watch this. And for those that do, I appreciate it. And I've got nothing but love for you, man. Nothing but love for you. All right. And uh, well, I guess we'll end it on that. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Take care. And all that hope, Baloo.